Hi students, welcome back to the next in our series of access lectures. Last week we covered tables and this week we're going to cover queries. If you have a look on Blackboard we will have a look here under content. Last week we went into tables practical and we did I did together with you activity one access table. You would then have on your own done access table number two and access table number three. To do today's activity you actually need access table number three so you would have need to have done that and it is actually your GSPAR ACCDB which you would have completed. If I go back to content we're moving on to today's work so that was tables and creation of tables in an access database. We are now going to have a look at access queries. And there are a, I'm going to do 4.1 with you guys. Let's open the questions and have a look what they would like us to do. Okay. Access database for query. We would like to open the table that we created in your activity 3 under tables and we would like to create a query wizard based on the table S clients. So let me just highlight that. Okay, I have completed my activity and I have it here. I'm going to open it up. And here is my client's table. Let me double click him. There we go. And if you have a look, there's quite a bit in this client's table. We have one, two, three, four names. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten fields. So that is quite a lot of information. And the purpose of a query is to go and get specific information out of this table and not show us the whole lot. If we have a look at the questions, we would like to know the surname, the first name, and the date of birth. Just those three things. So if you have a look in the table, we have all of this. I just want the surname, the first name, and the date of birth. So to, in order to create my first query, let's create it using the query wizard. I'm going to click on create. I'm going to move along until I find the query wizard. And I want a simple query wizard. So I'm going to choose simple query wizard. And you choose your relevant table. In this database we only have one table. So I'm going to choose my table clients. Or table S clients. And from there we wanted to select the surname. We wanted to select the first name. And we wanted to select the date of birth. That simple. Which fields do you want in your query? Surname, first name, date of birth. Let me check what the name for this query should be. Query clients. So I'm going to copy that over. When I click on next, let's give it the correct name query clients and open the query to view the information and you will actually have a look here you have your tables there's your table s clients and here's your table query clients inside here it's brought back for me everybody's surname everybody's first name everybody's date of birth i can save my query and i can close my query i can close my table as well when i run the query it's going to ask a question of the table and bring me back those three items because those are the three fields that I have selected. As with tables, you have your normal query view and we will have design view. I am going to swap to design view because we would li now like to know all of the people who are born before a certain date. And that we will place here under criteria 
under the date of birth section. So you need to go black to, back to Blackboard and if we actually have a look in here there is an access query commands that we have given you. It's an Excel spreadsheet that I'm going to now open and in here what you can put there under criteria and what it is going to show you. So if you would like everybody's surname that begins with S you would put in there like bracket S star bracket and it will bring back everybody's surname that begins with an S. If you scroll down this and please note you do need to learn these Today's one is we don't want between two dates, we just want before a certain date. So I'm going to select my date format. You can type it in manually as well. If you know what date you're looking for. I'm just copying out of there at the moment so we can do the activity. I'm going to date here and under criteria I'm going to paste that. I'm going to take away the hash and I'm going to go before the first of the first 1975. So now when I run my query, when it searches the date of birth, it's going to give me people before the first of the first 1975. I would like you to watch happen here. what happens here when I save the query. I'm saving the query and it has actually assisted me with the correct syntax. So please be aware of the syntax of the criteria of the query that is in this document that we have given you. So if you are asked to find something between two dates, here you can come for assistance. Choose the correct format and put it in, the, in there under date. If you're looking for first name that begins with S, you would put it under there, or, or surname that begins with S, or whatever letter, you would put it under there. So we have here before 1975-01-01. If you notice the date has flipped over to the American style, don't worry about that. I am now going to run my query. And it has brought me back two people. Paliga Pele and Mandy Skoltz were both born before the first of the first 1975. I'm going to save my query and I'm going to change back to design view once more so you can have a look there is your table in design view here are the three fields I asked it to select for me and I've now asked it to select using my Excel spreadsheet that we gave you a date format that is before 1975 the 1st of January right let's go and have a look at the questions again They would like us to sort the data based on surname in descending order. So I'm going to go to my database. If you have a look at this, if I run my query, P is before S, the way you would s sort it, highlight your column, go to the top there, ascending order and I would put it in ascending order. Basically that is the lesson for today. Please attempt that. Save your query, save your database, make sure that your design view looks like ours and you can rename your access, access, file, access exercise file as surname student number query spa your group. I would copy that and I would go file, go into my database, file, save as Check the correct name. Rename your access exercise file. So they are referring to the entire database.
choose that. Save your database as. Cancel that. Save your whole database file. Save as. Give it the correct name. Save as Access Database. All open objects must be closed. Give it the correct name. Find the correct location and save it. And that is the lesson for today's students. Short, simple and sweet.